So these are the components I assembled for this shooting session. I'm going to use the in-wrap hair curler papers for the cartridge body. And I have those on hand not because I curl my hair, but I use them for my sharps cartridges. And then for powder, I'm going to use a black MZ because I have a good supply of it and it works well. And then I'm going to load 10 rounds up with some 3F black powder and uh, I'm going to just use this Elmer's white glue uh, just because I have that on hand and then I'm going to try out the Iris Gone Cur Bullet this time and of course I'm going to use the uh, cap and ball cartridge former to put all this together. So I made a few small changes to the pistol since the last time. I got a set of a slick shot uh, nipples that'll eliminate the problem of the caps falling off the uh, the stock nipples and then I got a your birdie plunger because I'm going to use the, the conical curve bullet on there and then I actually enlarged the loading port area on the Pieta pistol and it might really not have been necessary with this curve bullet because it, it actually sits uh, down in this cylinder quite well. Okay, so it's loading paper cartridges kind of time consuming and, and kind of fiddly and the answer is yes and yes. But uh, back in the day they were assembled by hand too, sometimes with tin foil, sometimes with animal guts, sometimes with paper. So we'll put one of these together, just wrap your uh, paper around the mandrel and then just glue the seam, put a little glue on the bottom of the paper for your uh, end piece to stick to. Just stick it on there and then of course grab your uh, cap and ball cartridge former. Stick the mandrel down there give it a twist so there's your cartridge. So put in your uh, powder charge. Uh, tamp it down a little bit, makes it a little more solid cartridge. And then take your conical ball and then paint a little glue on the, the heel part. And just sit it down in there and make sure you make contact with your powder and uh, make sure that the paper makes contact with the glue on the bullet. You take your uh, mandrel and just pop the cartridge out of the bottom and that's it. I loaded up uh, 50 paper cartridges with Black MZ. 15 with a round ball and the rest with the Kerr conical ball. Uh, the Kerr bullets loaded easily. They shaved off a nice concentric circle of lead which tells me that there's a nice tight seal and a good solid fit.
Yeah, we'll shoot at some paper here. We've got four left out of 50. Uh, they all went bang, no hang fires. Uh, they worked uh, quite well. Let's see if we can get the last four off. Okay, there's uh, 50 rounds with the uh, black MZ. No problems. No cleaning. So after 50 rounds, I found a little bit of paper debris in the bottom of the chambers, and that's probably just, uh, I used a little too much glue maybe, but uh, not bad for after 50 rounds. Okay, now we'll try some uh, some black powder rounds here. I got them loaded up in kind of an old-timey cardboard box with a wooden insert. This is similar to what you'd, you'd buy at the hardware store back in the day. We'll, uh, see what the black powder does. So I was happy with this test. The unnitrated uh, hair coloring paper left left a little bit of debris in the bottom at the end of the day, but it, it didn't uh, cause me any problems. And the uh, Kerr bullet uh, loaded well. It uh, didn't shoot quite as accurate as the round ball in this uh, pistol, but uh, it hit with uh, quite a bit more authority and felt recoil. So we can try some uh, different loads and then maybe next time I'll just shoot uh, all black powder and, see, and we'll see uh, if uh, that makes any difference.